Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e 2 is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the e 2 will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good day, young entrepreneur. Welcome to an Itulay interesting session that will enhance your skills, knowledge, and competencies to become a successful entrepreneur. Muli ako po si Tutor Mel at tayo po ngayon ay nasa quarter 2, week 5 na. Diba? Napakabilis at tunay nga na alam ko na kayo ay patuloy na natututo dito po sa ating free online tutorial platform ng Dev. And ayan, bago tayo magsimula sa ating discussion for today, tayo po ay magkakaroon ng review. But before that, i-shoutout po natin good morning po kay T uh, TJ John, kay Clarissa Magbanwa, ayan po kay Sir Jeric Diaz from Kabanatuan, SDO Kabanatuan, kay Mark Daniel Cortez. Good morning sa inyo na patuloy na nakasubaybay dito lang sa ating DepEd Itulay online tutorial platform. Bago tayo mag-start, Siyempre, sabi ko nga, magkaroon muna tayo ng review of the past discussion in our last Business Friday. So, yan. So, review tayo, diniscuss natin yung essential factors in forecasting cost. Ano pa ba ang diniscuss natin? So, comp uh, compute projected cost, yung mga gasos natin sa ating business, diniscuss natin. Ano pa? Create a table showing cost and significance of forecasting cost to a business. Bakit ba mahalaga yung kailangan alamin natin yung ating mga gastos sa ating business? Siyempre, very important that for us to be able to know our income or the revenue of our business. So today, we are, like what I said earlier, we are now in our quarter two, week five with a title Computation of Gross Profit. Okay, alam ko, ready-ready na kayo. Sige nga, mag-comment nga kayo ng heart sa ating comment section for me to be able to know na kayo ay ready na para sa ating discussion. Ayan, kay, good morning po kay Tutor RJ Calaguas. Yan. Okay, let's start. So yan, maraming salamat po muli sa DepEd Region 10 sa pag-a-allowed po na gamitin ang kanilang module. Yan, maraming salamat po. Ngayon, let's identify our objectives. So, differentiate between gross profit, operating profit, and net profit. Second, interpret financial ratios such as the gross profit rate, operating profit margin, and net, mar net profit margin. Third, compute gross profit, operating profit, and net profit. And last, compute the gross profit rate, operating profit margin, and net profit margin. Puro Pera ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon patungkol sa ating pagninegosyo. That will help you for you to be able to really understand on how to compute magkano ba talaga ang kinikita o magkano ba talaga ang possible na kitain kapag tayo ay nagkaroon ng ating sariling negosyo. But before that, let us first have an activity. What I know. Direction. Write through if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is not correct. Ayan, kay Chini Galoso, good morning po. Patuloy po, learners, ishare nyo po 
ang ating online tutorial platform ngayon para po maraming maabot at pa ang inyong mga kaklase ay matuto rin dito sa ating discussion para sa umagang ito. Good morning kay Kent Hughes. Ayan, Adrias, watching from Coron School of Fisheries. Let's start with number one. The gross profit rate of the entrepreneurial venture is computed by dividing the cost of goods sold by net sales. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito sa ating number one? Good morning kay Denver Templo. Ayan, ano kaya? Ito ba ay true or false? Para daw makuha yung ating gross profit, i-divide daw natin yung cost of goods sold sa net sales. Kung ang yung sagot ay false, kayo ay tama. Yan. Pwede nyo pong isagot, uh, pwede nyo pong itype ang inyong mga sagot sa atin pong comment section. Number two, eto na, mag-compute tayo. Mr. Q is a practicing doctor of medicine. During the month of March 2019, he receives professional fees amounting to 1 million. Okay, naka-receive daw siya ng 1 million and total expenses of 250,000. The net income of Mr. Q is 750,000. What do you think is the answer? Sige nga, comment your answer in our comment section. True ba to or false? Paano ba natin yan? Totoo ba na 750 ang kanyang net income? Ano kayang sagot natin? Ayan, sabi ni Denver, true daw, sabi ni Ken, true. Yes, tama. Kasi 1 million minus 250,000, the answer is 750,000. Let's continue with number three. Profit is the money received from the customer in exchange of products given to customer. Ayan kay Huben. Marian, Huben, good morning. Ano daw po yung profit? po daw ay ang pera na natanggap natin mula sa ating mga customers. Ano kaya ang sagot natin dito? Sige, comment your answer in our comment section. True ba ito or false? Ayan, sabi ni RJ, false. Sabi ni Marian, false. Kung yung sagot ay false, ikaw ay tama. Let's continue. Let's continue with number four. Net profit margin rate presents the general perspective of the operating performance of the business. Yung net profit margin rate daw natin, nagre-represent ito kung maganda ba ang performance ng business o hindi. Ano kayang sagot natin? Ayan. Good morning kay Maharlika La, ano, Labastida. Good morning po. Watching from Crown School of Fisheries. Ayan. Share-share po natin ang ating live for today para mas maraming mga learners ang maabot ng ating pong DepEd Ito Live. Ayan, ano pong sagot natin dito? True ba ito or false? Ayan. Kung ang yung sagot ay true, ikaw ay tama. Tama si Mahilika, tama si Asher. Ayan, let's continue with number five. The gross profit rate provides information on the cost ratio of the business. Ano kaya yung sagot natin dito? Nagpo-provide daw ba yung gross profit rate sa cost ratio ng ating business? True ba ito or false? Yan, sabi ni sabi ni Mark ni Mark Daniel true daw. Okay, tingnan natin kung ang yung sagot ay true, ikaw ay tama. Ayun, pwede niyo na pong patuloy na sagutan ang inyong mga module at after that, pwede niyo na po itong i-submit sa inyong mga subject teachers. And let's continue with our discussion for today. Ayun, sige nga mag-comment nga kayo ng heart sa ating comment section para malaman natin na kayo ay handa na na makinig sa ating discussion for today. Sige, yan, nag-comment na sila ng heart si Denver, nag-comment ng heart si Mark, nag-comment ng heart si Jenny, nag-comment ng heart. Okay, let's start with our discussion for today. What's in? So, computing the gross profit. Ano ba tong gross profit na to? No? Okay, the probability ratios are a group of financial statements that primarily determine the probability of the business operation. Malalaman po natin itong mga risks na to later on as we continue in our discussion. To compute the gross profit of a product is, ah, uh, kito, the, uh, the gross profit on a product is computed as follow. Net sales, when we say net sales, ito na po yung kabuang sales natin sa ating, kung tayo ay nasa merchandising type of business. Less natin ang cost of sales is equal to gross profit. So when I say cost of sales, ito yung ginamit natin for us to be able to generate this 
sales. Ayan, si Maharli ka nag-comment ng heart. Si Mark, ang dami. Okay? So, for us to be able to compute it, di ba? So, by using the formula, the gross of profit of XYZ trading in the year of 2017 is as follow. Meron daw silang net sales na 734,000 in 2017. Less daw natin ito ng cost of sales, 577,000. Yung gross profit po natin ay 157,000. Ayun, malaki pa rin 'di ba yung kanilang kinita. Pero hindi pa rin yan yung kanilang net sales. So, yan, may kasunod pa yan. So, yan, profit. Profit is the gross income, the amount of gross profit provides information to the entrepreneur about the revenue earned from sales. Ayun, yung profit natin na sinasabi ito yung kita natin. Okay? The term cost naman refers to the purchase price of the product including the total outlay record in producing it. Ayan, ito yung mga gasos natin na na-incurred every time that we produce uh, every time that we produce products. Diba? Na ibebenta natin sa ating mga consumers. Good morning po kay Ma'am Jubel in Playo watching from Crown School of Fishiness. Ayan, medyo binabangyo po kami ngayon dito sa Palawan but still, hindi tayo mag-stop na i-share yung ating kaalaman para mas maraming kabataan na matuto. Ayan. Okay, gross profit margin is computed as follows. Okay, gross profit rate is equals to gross profit times uh, divided by net sales times 100. Okay, the gross profit rate measures the percentage of gross profit to sales including the profit that the business realized from the sales of a product. Bakit nga ba ito kinukuha? Para malaman natin din, kasi after natin ng gross profit, kaya siya tinawag na gross profit, it's not already the net profit. Babawasan pa natin ito ng mga tinatawag natin na mga operating expenses. Okay? The gross profit rate of XYZ trading for the year 2017 is computed as follows. Ayan. Gross profit rate is equals to, sabi nga natin yung gross profit niya kanina, 157,000, divided by the net sales, which is equivalent to 300, oh, sorry, 734,000 times 100. So the rate is 0.21, 39 times 100 is equals to, gross profit rate is 21.39%. Kinukuha natin to first to be able para malaman natin kung kaya pa bang bayaran ng gross profit yung ating operating expenses. Tingin ko naman kaya pa dahil medyo malaki pa din yung kanyang gross profit. Okay, the gross profit rate, uh, rate will also help the entrepreneur set the selling price operating profit margin rate. Ito naman. The operating mar profit margin rate, uh, the operating profit margin is the excess of the gross profit from operating expenses. So yung tawag po natin doon is operating profit margin. Ayan. Yung sobra ng gross profit at ng ating operating expenses. Ito yung formula for us to be able to get the operating profit margin. Ayan. Good morning kay Ralph Jude Katain. Ayan. Kay, kay Jade Dilemma. Ayan. Grade 10. Blue Marlin. Ayan, gross profit less operating expenses is equal to operating profit margin. Okay? Let's apply this. Okay? By apply. Okay? Ayan, so profit margin rate is second level of revenue in the income in the income statement. This stage not only the cost of buying or making the product that has been deducted in including but also the operating expenses. Ano ba itong mga operating expenses natin? Ito yung mga binabayaran natin sa rent natin, di ba, kuryente, dyan siya pumapasok sa operating expenses. These are expenses incurred during the particular period only and are not expected to provide benefits to any future period. Ayan, the operating expenses are also period costs. Ayan, period costs din siya. Ayan. Okay. In this case, there are no financing charges, uh, interest expenses, income tax, the amount of operating mar profit margin is equal to the net income. Kapag ka naman, wala tayo kasi may third level pa na tinatawag sa ating 
uh, income statement. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag naman natin na yung mga interest natin at uh, income tax binabawas sa huli. Huli na siya doon sa ating income statement. So yan, gross profit rate, less operating expenses, 90,000, equals to operating profit margin, which is 67,000. Sabi nga dito, kapag wala na daw pong uh, interest na binabayaran sa banko or income tax na binabayaran, ay yung ating operating profit margin, siya na yung ating magiging net income. Pero pag meron, katulad sa example natin sa susunod, Meron yun siya. This information states that the business realized an income of 67,000 during the year after deducting the cost in operating expenses from the sales made. Ayan. Good morning kay Francesca Sarena, Great 10 Blue Marlin. So operating profit margin rate is equal to operating profit margin divided by net sales multiplied by 100 Ayan siya. By applying operating profit margin natin kanina, di ba? 67,000 divided by 734,000 which is the net sales multiplied by 100. So we have, ito na, ni-round off na lang natin. 0 0.091.28 times 100 is equals to operating profit margin rate is 9.13%. Ayan. So di ba? napakababa na siya. Pero may kita pa rin ang business. What if naman kapag ka meron daw siyang mga binayarang tax? Ayan. The operating profit margin of the business measures the percentage of profit available after deducting the cost of sales and operating expenses of the business. A higher operating profit margin is favorable to the business. Bakit? Kasi nga, ito na yung possible na pwede niyang kitain. Kapag mas mataas yung profit Margin up, operating profit margin niya, favorable yun. Maganda yun sa business. Kasi dito sa atin, 67,000 na lang siya. But still, may kita pa din siya. Okay? So, uh, the income statement is the net profit margin in third level in the revenue. The business is only given consideration like interest, expense, and income tax. Ayan. Very important na nagbabayad ng income tax sa ating mga businesses. Okay? Operating profit margin natin kanina na natira which is 67,000. Iless natin ng income tax. Ilan ba yung income tax na daw? For example, nag-incurred siya ng income tax na 20,000. So the net profit margin is 40... Oh, sorry. The net profit margin is 47,000. Sorry, nalito lang si sir. Yan, yeah, 47,000 yan siya dyan. Okay? Ayan na. So, ibig sabihin, yun na yung kanyang final na kinita. Okay? So, the income statement of XYZ trading does not reflect any data on interest expense. Okay? Wala daw silang na-incurred na interest expense, kaya income tax lang po yung kanilang binayaran. Okay? The third level of what we call the income statement. Only income statement has been deducted from the operating profit margin. So, we have the Net profit margin uh, rate is equals to net profit, which is yung kanina, yung 47,000, divided by net sales times 100. Ayan. So we have incurred, okay? So 46,900 divided by 734,000, okay, is equals to 0 0.063989 times 100, the net profit margin rate is 6.39%. But still, mababa na siya, pero may kinita pa din yung business. Okay? So, XYZ Trading appears to have earned 63.39% of the total sales of 734,000 during the year. The, this profit rate must be compared with those of other similar businesses with the same industry. Kung i-compare natin ito sa iba na nag the same business din, no, medyo mababa siya. Pero may kinita pa rin ang business. Hindi pa rin sila lugi. Ayan. Good morning kay Melka Rigaspi. Ayan. So, analyzing the liquidity status of the business. So, when we say liquidity, this is the easiest of uh, uh, converting the, the assets of the business into cash. Yeah. So, meron tayong tatlong ratio dito. Current ratio, which is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities. And we have naman the quick ratio. Ayan, sa quick, ibig sabihin mabilis, di ba? So, 
current assets minus inventories divided by current liabilities. And for your information, current assets, these are assets that can be easily converted to cash a less than a year. Ayan. When we say current liabilities naman, ito yung mga utang ng business na mababayaran natin in, uh, in short period of time. Okay? So, yan. So, then next natin is we have current liabilities uh, is equals to current liabilities ratio is equals to cash and cash equivalents plus marketable securities plus accounts receivable. So, let's define what is cash uh, quick ratio. Quick ratio measures in short-term obligations with it most liquid assets and therefore excluded or excludes inventories from its current assets. Okay? Inaalam natin yung liquidity kasi for us to be able, if we can uh, uh, able still uh, settle the our obligations which are our liabilities. Ayan. Credits natin mga utang. Liabilities, the same lang sila. Okay? Financial statements are important in a company Management as a means of communicating past successes as well as future expectation. Okay, the financial statements records all the operating results such as sales, expenses, and profits or losses. Ayan, yung ating mga, yung financial statements, it's in, uh, composed of balance sheet, income statement, cash flows. Ayan, dyan nakalagay yung ating mga kinita mga ginastos sa nakaraang mga buwan o taon ng ating pag negosyo Very important ito and the government is very much interested with our financial statement kasi nga dito nila binabase yung binabayaran nating tax sa government. Okay? So return of investments or ROI, this is also very important. no Kasi nila, eh, dito natin naalamin kung magkano ba yung ating uh, kikitain yung babalik sa ating in-invest. Okay? The return of investment, ROI measures the amount of net income per peso invested to the business. So the formula is computed ROI is as follows. Okay? So return of investment is equals to net income, yung kinita natin na net kanina, divided by average total assets. Ayan. So ano po ba yung average total asset? Paano siya kinukuha? No average total assets is just uh, kinocompute mo lang yun sa yung total yung iyong unang beginning assets i-minus mo lang doon sa iyong ending assets yun makukuha mo yung average natin okay so here is an example of projected 5 year business uh, balance sheet of Fitmoto ready to wear online selling business for year 1 ayan year 1 si Fitmoto online uh, ready to wear online selling business may cash siya na 300 okay 337,000 398.56 okay so wala siyang other assets na nakalagay so yung cash na yung kanyang total assets sabi nga natin in our accounting equation assets is equals to liabilities plus owners equity which we can found in balance sheet okay so yan then liabilities niya wala siyang liabilities meron siyang owner's equity na 337,398.56. Total niya is 337,398.56. So, total po equals po lagi ang asset natin sa ating liabilities na pinagsama yung kanyang owner's equity. Ngayon, nung year 2, from 337,398.56, naging 600 na uh, 686 417.05 na ang kanyang total assets. Ganun din ang kanyang total liabilities and owners equity. Year 3, ayan, 'di ba napakaganda kasi lumalaki yung kanyang finances. Ayan. So sabi nga ni Ma'am Mira, assets is equals to liabilities plus owners equity. Ayan. So 1,052,800 86.47 na siya yung kanyang total assets. Ganon din ang kanyang total liabilities in owner's equity. Pag year 4, dumating na yung year 4, no? 1,437,679.36. So, pansin nyo po, ma-increase po siya na almost 5% yan sa kanya dyan. Mamaya makikita natin. Then, pag year 5 niya, 1,841,711.89. Okay? 
So kay balance sheet po ito, isa po ito sa mga part ng ating financial statement. Okay, let's continue with income statement naman. Okay, projected 5-year income statement of Fitmoto ready to wear online selling business. So, let's say projected, ito lang yung nakikita natin na possible nating kitain. ba? Diba? For year 1, okay, ayan na po, no, 1 million yung kanyang revenue, ibig sabihin na revenue yung kanyang net sales ito. Diba? 1 million 545,673.95 at ang kanya namang cost, yung kanyang expenses na na-incurred ay 1,213,275.38. So, ang kanyang pong gross profit, okay, before tax, ay 332,398.56. Pagdating ng year 2 naman, kumita naman siya, may sales siya na, or revenue na, 1,622,957.60. 64 at mayroon siyang expenses or cost na 1,273,939.15 at ang kanya namang gross profit before tax ay 349,018.49. Pagpasok po ng year 3, ayan, syempre, diba? 1,704,105.50. At ang kanya namang pong cost ay 1,337,636.11. At you notice po, no, kapag nagbibusiness talaga tayo, nag increase po talaga yan. Kasi di ba kaya nga tayo nag-business para kumita talaga. Kaya dapat yung business natin, yung ating sales ay increasing from year to year. Okay? Then meron siyang gross profit before tax na 366,469.42. Year 4, Ito na, tumaas din siya ng 5%. No? 1,789,310.80 less natin ang kanyang cost na 1,404,515.91 ang kanyang gross profit before tax ay 384,792.89 and last for year 5 kasi, kasi year 5 lang siya, no? So yan. So 1,878,776.34 less natin ang cost na 1,474,743.89. Meron siyang gross profit na 1,404,032.59. Yan. Need po natin i-divide yung net income sa average ng total assets to get the return of investment. Yes po, Mamira. Ayan. Yearly, ito po, assumption natin, yearly increase in revenue is assumed at 5%. And of course, yearly din na increase sa cost natin assume na 5%. Siyempre, kapag mas marami tayong produkto na nagagawa, lumalaki din yung ating cost. Tandaan po natin yan. Lagi po silang uh, connected. Okay? Ayan. So, reminder, as a future entrepreneur, one should always remember that Nothing is permanent in the field of entrepreneurship. What is applicable to one entrepreneur may not be applicable to another. Certain things may happen to one entrepreneur but may not happen to another. Tandaan po natin yan, no? As a future entrepreneur, lalong-lalo sa inyo mga students, alam ko, in the future na magkakaroon kayo ng sarili niyong business, actually, some of you are now doing your business and it is very important that you have to compute your gross profit at yung possible niyong kitain sa inyong business. Another, the owner of an ordinary small uh, business has the freedom to manage and operate. Diba? Ideally, he or she prefers business activities which are done easily. Ayan. However, the entrepreneur has, the perf uh, has to perform the entrepreneurial activities correctly regardless of whether they are undertaken easily or not. What is important in entrepreneurship is that the business activities are performed correctly. Dapat tama lang talaga yung ating ginagawa for us to be able na mag-
have learned after the end of our discussion, ngayon magkakaroon naman tayo ng activity. Ayan, so let's check natin kung ano yung inyong natutunan sa ating activity. So the reaction right through if the statement is correct and right false if the statement is nagar ngayon. Okay, so number one, the government is not interested in financial statements since it is not a part of any of the transaction of the business. Ano kayang sagot natin dito? Hindi ba sila interested? Okay, sige, comment your answer in our comment section. Okay, right, false if the statement is correct and right through if the statement is correct. What do you think is the answer for? Number one, hindi daw interested ang government. Yan, sabi ni Mamira, false. Sabi ni Mark, false. Okay, kung yung sagot ay false, kayo ay tam. Of course, the Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. 
dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay! E